but do it when the next thing he spies may be the lady. Thou shalt know the man by the Athenian garments he hath on. Effect it with some care, that he may prove more fond on her than she upon her love. And look, thou meet her, meet me ere the first cock crow. Okay. Specifically, he's only seen one of the Athenian, because he's mm-hmm. standing in the woods, and Demetrius comes along and Helena comes along, and he sees this thing going on between them. So he wants to set it all up that she falls in love. So he wants to anoint Demetrius' eyes. Mm-hmm. But Lysander's in the wood also, but Oberon doesn't know that. So he just says to Puck, you'll know who it is. Don't worry about it. Just see a guy, he's dressed like an Athenian. You go anoint his eyes, it'll all be good. And then make sure that she comes along. Right. And, and so what happens is, of course, the confusion is he anoints the wrong Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. <laughs> but isn't he talking about a different <laughs> for Titanium yeah. guys? No, 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 no. He's got the same herb. He's got Ooh. two herbs. He's got one to reverse it. And broken horn. It. No, he's but got to be broke my horn. It's the same <laughs> coin. It's the same way for titanium. <laughs> yes. It's basically pansies, I think. He hasn't really got the titanium. Well, this oh, is oh, very, yes. very convoluted and challenging. Yes, it What's is. What's going to happen? Yeah. Right, Don Shakespeare. I'm worried full of already. Fantasy. You're worried? I'm worried. Oh. I may lose my Why hair. Why would it make her full of hateful fantasies? That's a good question. Um, um, on top of this, this is I'm looking back where Oberon speaking. Oberon speaking to Puck, and he says, well, you know, I know a bank where the wild times blows, and he, then, right. so there's um, where I Titania sleeps. Oh, oh. so, so yeah. he, yeah, go ahead. So, he's, uh, so Titania will get the stuff in her eyes, and she will then fantasize on whatever she meets and, and, right. and, and Oberon's planning it to be somewhat hateful. Got it. So she'll have these <coughs> fantasies, but they will be hateful fantasies because she'll be lusting after something, you know, like a bear or a monkey or... Right. Or a spaniel. Or a spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be bestiality. Okay. Spaniality. All right, Spaniality. we need some fairies. <laughs> <laughs> we need some fairies. So who's in the next scene two? We, we have fairies. We have, we have a lot of fairies. We have a the first Well, we have a song. We have to... How about we all sing the fairy song? Good. I'll, be, I'll play the horn. <laughs> I'll play the horn while we sing. The fairy song. Okay, all right. What is the fairy song? You don't like my horn? The fairy song. I'm very good at the horn. On your page, the fairy sing. The fairy and I'm okay. <laughs> all right, you got it. Your first That's fairy. The That's the melody. You spotted tongues with tongues. Your first fairy there, Greg. Dennis, your second fairy. <laughs> Profondo, I've got to say that. Right. I need a little another music for, for the song. Okay, another part of the wood, Titania. Come now, a rondel and a fairy song. Then, for the third part of a minute hence, some to kill cankers in the musk rose buds, some war with rare mice for their leathern wings. Is that bats? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. To make my small elves coats, and some keep back the clamorous owls that nightly hoots and clamorous owl that nightly hoots and wonders at our quaint spirits. Sing me now sleep, then to your offices, and let me rest. So we're all going to sing? Yes, we're going to try to... I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay, it's not like a, a lullaby. You spotted nights with the bold time for the hedgehogs be unseen. Noons and flowers to go wrong. I'm going, to, I'm going to send this in to so you think you can sing the new TV show. Beals black approach not here, worm nor style, do no offense. Fill the bell with the etc. etc. Yeah, 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 yeah. So good night with all of them. Okay, second verse. Now wake as it is thy dear. Wake when some vile thing is near. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice time, huh? Okay, then it's your <laughs> fair not. Fair not, and where no. not fair. <laughs> fair love, you faint with wandering in the wood. 
and to speak troth, I have forgot our way. <laughs> Just like a guy. <laughs> we'll rest us, Hermia, if you think it good, and tarry for the comfort of the day. Be it so, Lysander, find you out a bed, for I upon this bank will rest my head. Lysander. Lysander. One turf shall serve as pillow for both uh -huh. us both. One heart, one bed, two bosoms, and one troth. Uh -huh. What's a troth? Not sure. Truth, as no. in betrothed. Oh, betrothed. It's, yeah. it's a pledged faith, that's yeah, yeah. what it is. Mm -hmm. Nay, good Ly Lysander, for my sake, my dear, lie further off <laughs> yet, do not lie so near. <laughs> Get out of here! No, touch <laughs> it! <laughs> not so bad! Uh, not so bad! So uh, 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 take the sense. Get to first base here. Sweet of my innocence, love takes the meaning in love's conference. I mean that my heart unto yours is knit, so that but one heart we can make of it. Two bosoms interchained with an oath, so then two bosoms and a single troth. <laughs> then by your side no bedroom me deny, for lying so Hermia I do not lie. Lysander riddles very prettily. <laughs> 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 no, now much beshrew my manners and my pride, if Hermia meant to say Lysander lied. But gentle friend for love and courtesy, <laughs> life further off in human modesty, such separation as, as may well be said, becomes a virtuous, batch, virtuous bachelor and a maid. So far be distant and good night, sweet friend, thy love ne'er alter till thy sweet life end. Mm. Amen, amen to that fair prayer, amen. say I, and then end life when I end loyalty. Here's my bed, sleep give thee all his rest. With half that wish, the wisher's eye be pressed. They sleep. Mm -hmm. Through the north I have gone, but Athenian found I none, in whose eyes I might approve this flower's force and stirring love, night and silence. <laughs> Who is here? Weeds of Athens doth he wear. This is he, my master said. Despise the Athenian maid, and hear the maiden sleeping sound. On the dank and dirty ground, pretty soul, she does not lie near this lack love, this kill courtesy. Chill upon thy eyes, I throw all the power this charm doth owe. When thou wakest, let love forbid sleep his seat on thy eyelid. So wake when I'm gone, for I must now to Oberon. Stay, though kill, though thou kill me, sweet Demetrius. I charge thee hence, and do not haunt me thus. <laughs> oh, wilt thou, darkling, leave me? Do not so. Stay on thy peril, I, will, I alone will go. Oh, I am out of breath in this fond chase. <laughs> the more my prayer, the lesser is my grace. Mm -hmm. Happy is Hermia, where sore where so she lit lies. For she hath blessed and attractive eyes. How came her eyes so bright, not with salt tears? If so, my eyes are oftener washed than hers. No, no, I am ugly as a bear, for beasts that meet me run away for fear. Therefore, no marvel, though deep Demetrius do as a monster, fly my presence thus. What wicked and dissembling glass of mine made me compare with Hermia's fury? Mine. But who is here? Lysander on the ground, dead or asleep? I see no blood, no wound. Lysander, if you live, good sir, awake. Lysander. And run through fire, I will feel that sweet sick. Transparent, Helena. Nature shows art, that though thy bosom makes me see thy heart. Where is Demetrius? O oh, fit a word. Is that vile name to perish on my sword? Do not say so, Lysander, say not so. What though he love your Hermia? Lord, what though? Yet Hermia still loves you, then be content. Content? Content.